to a, another Marvel Legends Disney Plus Wave episode. We are looking at Moon Knight today. I loved, loved the Moon Knight series. Um, honestly, one of my best, uh, one of, well, in my opinion, the best, one of the best uh, Disney Plus shows. Um, it was f cool to finally see Moon Knight on this, on, like, in live action, apart from cartoons. Um, I really didn't know much about Moon Knight up until his appearance. Um, so when I found out they were doing a Moon Knight show, I kind of just tried to read up on a backstory um, that he's a person with multiple personality disorder and uh, one of those personalities. So it happens to be Moon Knight and Mr. Knight, um, where the Mr. Knight figure we have down here, that'd be the next video. Um, it was a very cool and dark season uh or series so to speak it showed a little bit of a different side to the mcu as well as giving us some new lore some new ethos on the gods especially the egypt we've we've seen as guardians like the norse mythology we've now seen kind of greek mythology with thor uh love and thunder but we also now got to see egyptian gods which it's going to be really cool. I'm hoping to see more of Moon Knight and Mr. Knight in the MCU. Um, but let's uh, let's get to the figure, shall we? Okay, so here we have the figure. It comes with two of the like crescent Moon Crescent Boomerangs weapons that he uses. Um, this is for the first, one of the only figures in the Builder Line series that doesn't have a part for the Ultron figure. So it comes with, just comes with the two boomerangs and two closed fists. I kind of like him posed with these. Um, I'll probably work out a different type of posing later on. I don't know where I'm going to be displaying these um, just yet. That's a future problem for me. Um, I buy these figures and I never know where I'm going to find where I'm going to put them. It's always an issue. Um, I love the attention to detail on the outfit, especially the cloak and the hood. And also down the front here, there are some hieroglyphics, which I love. I absolutely love that detail. They've included every little feature with the robes. Like they kind of look like obviously they're meant to kind of look like bandages, and they've done an excellent job recreating that with this figure from the show. Um, uh, the little like crescent moon on the um, front of the hood, just on the top there. You can't probably you probably can't see it very well in, on the camera, but it like I'm really impressed with this figure. No paintwork issues. I've seen this as a, as a thing with Marvel Legends. There never seems to be quality control issues. Um, and like other lines, um, which f fascinates me. Because surely they're made from the same like place. And more or less moulds are probably the same as well. They just change paintwork on a lot of them. To make them look like Marvel Legends compared to like Power Rangers or anything else. Um, so maybe we'll touch up on that in a, in a future video on the difference between paint details on the Marvel Legends compared to Power Rangers. Might be a video idea. Um, I'd be quite interested and I'll probably see if I can get a couple of friends to uh, who collect both to give them me their opinion as well in a video. Um, but yeah. Like I said, the next video would be uh, Mr. Knight, which comes with a part for the Builder figure, I believe. It does indeed. Um, Mr. Knight was another one of my fan favourites, so really happy to see these. I only really wanted this collection uh, for the two Moon Knight figures and the two Hawkeye figures. But as I was buying four figures, I was technically getting half of the um, Builder figure. I thought I might as well just finish the line. And I'm kind of glad I did. Um, but yeah, thank you everyone for watching and uh, peace.